you know, I usually used, used to use the, the analogy of a, uh, the metaphor of a train, jump, you know, a speeding train, and they said, go ahead and jump aboard. Hi, this is Carlos Bernard. You're listening to 20 Years of 24. She, Gail really wants you on 24, and she really wants you to meet Bob and Joel. And I was like, wow, I hadn't even like buried my own dead. The body wasn't even dead, and I was already meeting you know, uh, Joel and Bob. So uh, while we were in New York that summer, we were sent a copy of the pilot. And my, my feeling was 9-11 had not happened yet. Right. And yeah. there had never been a show that could be sold in syndication that had to be watched in chronological sequence. Right. We love that in the second uh, season, I think one of the first scenes we did was when he interrogates me. And it was literally after our honeymoon. Right, and wow. And we had been canned. <laughs> And all of a sudden, Nina was very tan. <laughs> sure, we tried yeah, to yeah. justify it as like she's been in the prison yard. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens. That's what happens when you when you go to the big house. Sitting at the table, we were doing a scene, and I just went, "I'm president of the United States." I mean, it really hit me in this funny sort of way right. that I was the president of the United States. You know, at an airport, people have come from all over and people are not bashful about coming up and going, hi, you know, <laughs> I love you on your show. Um, what was not the most fun was the fact that I, I had to have my hair cut every eight weeks. And when 24 came up, I remember I was just at the, I was sort of at the end of my rope and I thought, if I don't get this, I, I, I might hang it up that my phone rings and it's Joel. And he's like, yeah, sorry. I was like stuck in that meeting. I couldn't speak. Listen, we're totally going to write a character for you. We'll just write the character for you. I am still in an orange pantsuit somewhere. You I are. Would, I would say by now. Oh, you're on parole. Probably out. Yeah. Olivia probably went to, went to jail for like seven years. By now she's probably out. She's probably written a few books. In, in many respects, the way I see it is he's the mirror image of Jack. Right. Because unfortunately, <laughs> he's on the opposite side of him. <laughs> right. So, and, and he's as relentless as Jack. You know, Dana, on the other hand, though, was so unforgivable that I think that she's the only character that Jack ever shot point blank and, like, didn't even flinch. Coming back and people are like, oh, man, what was it? <laughs> We're outside. I don't really get to sit and reminisce and think about it as much, you know, and, and like I said, 20 years, I can't even, I can't even fathom that. It was wild, man. Like you didn't, you didn't kill pregnant wives of the heroes on TV at the time. And it's kind of funny. I have this thing now what I do with my daughter. I go, when a, when a fan comes by, I go, if it's a Soprano fan or a 24 fan, I can tell in a second. Thank you so much for doing this. And oh. I wish you guys the best. And I hope we see you sooner than later.